It's been fantastic. It's been giving us some, you know, as much needed rest as any bye week does for a lot of different teams. It couldn't have come at a better time for us, you know, get to recharge our bodies and our minds and get to kind of focus and regroup as to, you know, what we want to do going into the next week. Mm -hmm. Off for a couple of days, though, how does it finally feel to get back on the court after a little bit of a break? Oh, it feels great. You know, you just feel like you have that time away, much needed rest time, and, you know, just being able to do some other things, focus on some maybe professional development for some of the seniors and being able to focus on, you know, school a lot as well, getting ahead on homework and everything. And it's been very productive, but then as well, it just means getting onto the court is that much more special when you've been off for a couple of days. And with the break, you guys have had some time to think about the Georgia game as well and look ahead maybe to Missouri. Uh, first of all, what can you guys take away from Georgia after thinking on it for a little bit? Um, actually, we've had some individual film sessions with Coach Cam, but we haven't had our team film yet. We're going to watch that today. And so, but just, you know, for a couple of things that, you know, I've seen at least is that we, you know, continuously could improve on, you know, boxing out and boards. You know, we kind of went a little bit downhill against the Georgia Bulldogs, you know, and everything. So just trying to make sure we stay on top of that, stay consistent, because we've been having, do it, be, uh, we've been doing a really good job on the boards over the past couple of games, so we just want to continue to do that. And then as well as um, making sure that we're executing on offensive possessions and making sure that we're passing up good shots for great shots. And you guys played well, you know, for the most part against Georgia. You guys had a lead for a good amount of time. Yep. Does that um, does that have any confidence ringing to it that you guys can play with a top 20 team? Oh, for sure. I mean, that's a, that's a huge confidence booster having a lead on Georgia at home for the majority of the game. And then, you know, obviously it's, it's disappointing the way that we finished it. But I think that that's something that we can continuously – to learn from, especially because we're going to play a bunch of top 20 teams coming into the next week and also the week after that. And so I think for us, we just got to keep our heads up and know, and know that, you know, we can compete with whoever we're on the court with. And then just turnovers have been just a mainstay, it seems like, across over the, you know, basically the majority of the season. Do you think, like, there's a fix to it, have, like, you know, getting close to SEC tournament? Right. Um, you know, there's definitely a fix to it. It's taking your time, not getting flustered, and not letting the other team speed you up and everything. And that's been the message across the board, you know, since day one of having a turnover problem. So I think for us, it's just continuing to watch the film. I mean, we have been getting better. I mean, some of the turnovers that we're making now weren't necessarily the same turnovers that we were making in the previous games. So it's just a matter of correcting them after we've seen them, we watch them on film, and that way we can learn from each other as well in practice and in games and making each other better. And we've talked about the boards, turnovers. Is there anything in your individual game or anything else in the team that you guys are looking to improve over the next couple of weeks? I know individually for myself, I know I can be more consistent. I mean, I really haven't had much of an impact on the game until the fourth quarter. And so then for me, I just want to be there more consistently for my team and then I also think just as a team as a whole like I was saying before just continue to encourage one another through ups and downs of a game you know when we went through a turnover sprout there in the fourth quarter against Georgia you know we need to make sure that we're still staying in each other's ear being positive picking each other up and we could have still been in the game if we just would have got done on the defensive end which in other games where we have one we've proven that like even if we didn't execute perfectly on offense we had a couple turnovers we got it done on defense and we still won the game so just focusing on that moving forward I think is a huge thing for us. Okay cool and then uh, last question you've played with Delicia since she came here first yeah. day freshman year um, what have you seen improve her, improve in her since you know her first day on campus and then maybe okay. even this year as well? Honestly it's her responses I think for her she's grown a lot in her maturity and also so in her leadership um, as a huge role on our team. She's very young, and I think that's what a lot of people don't understand as, as much as other people do on us, on not only our team, but just out, other siders with looking in. And um, she's really improved not only her game as well over this past year and into the summertime and now into the school year, but then also, you know, for her to use her voice more in practice and not being afraid to say something and holding people accountable, I think is something that she's gotten really good at. And, you know, I think she is going to continue to improve and be a really, really great player. And not to say that she already isn't a very good player already, but um, she's my little sister, and I think she's going to keep growing, and she's going to make a tremendous impact on this Gator basketball family.